Tonight we continue our series of interviews with candidates running for Boston City Council in the preliminary election on September 24th. Our guest is running in Alston Brighton for the seat being vacated in District 9 by Mark Siomo. We'd like to welcome Amanda Smart. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, Amanda. Thank you. And I want to start with uh, why you're running, because you have an interesting story. Uh, tell us about that. I'm running because I have a brain injury and I believe that Boston does amazing things for people with disabilities, but I believe that there's always more that we can do. What about uh, your recovery? Is there anything you learned from that that you'd like to continue in office in some way? Yeah, well, I believe that in recovery that, you know, you just have to keep believing in yourself and going forward. And I, I think that many, so many people sh need to just remember that they have to keep believing in themselves. You know, it might not be, be because you have a disability, you have a sickness, um, you have an injury, but you just need to keep believing in yourself. Well, your, your injury and the treatment, that disrupted your plans for education. You had to change your plans. You went to a special school. How did that change your perspective on what education should be like? I believe that, that made, it made me so much better of a person because I had never really thought that I would go to college and think and, you know, go on to grad school before getting my disability. But after my injury and after Ivy Street, I did Bunker Hill. <laughs> the two years took me probably like four years. And then I did UMass Boston, and then I just loved learning and loved the environment and the people there. So then I got my master's at UMass Boston in human services. Uh, what about the kind of um, teachers they had at, at UMass Boston? Because it, I guess is there something special that maybe you might not find at other colleges? There's something so special with them. They care so much. Can I name two? Sure, absolutely. Um, okay. Especially Sylvia and Cuff. <laughs> they were two professors that I want to say kind of sheltered and just really opened up my mind and opened up many students' minds to different aspects and different things. And of course, uh, even before UMass, you went to a special school, the Ivy Street School? Yes, the Ivy Street School. What did that do for you? <laughs> that did so much for me because um, I went there right after my injury when I was 17. Well, I was in the hospital for a long time. But then um, when I got out of the hospital, I went to Ivy Street School and I, you know, got my high school. I was able to get my high school diploma, but you also get counseling, therapies, and they teach things in a different way and the state pays for you to go there till you're 22. And of course, after all of this, you actually went into a profession. And tell us a little bit about that background. I'm sorry? You went into a profession in, in social services, right? Yes, human services. What, what did you do exactly? Well, at first, um, when I first got out of Ivy Street, I was working for a company in Braintree. But then I um, was working for MAB, Mass Association for the Blind, and I worked there for almost 12 years. And that's just amazing place. It deals with adults with developmental disabilities and older adults. And um, then af after that, I went to um, Brain Injury Association of Massachusetts. What do you think that would have to do with what a city councilor, I think, does all the time? They get calls or messages from people about needing services. Uh, how do you think that prepares you for doing that part of the job, at least? I believe that it prepares me because I know I have personal experience and I know what it means to, you know, not be able to do something or you know, to maybe to have people look down on you and, you know, you need to rise up to that. I, I believe that it would help me because I know how it is. This is BNN News and we're talking with Amanda Smart, candidate for City Council in District 9. Uh, 
Amanda, this is a, 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 you know, an election year. The seat's up, open. You know, a lot of people are out there. They're talking about uh, concerns about the neighborhood. I mean, there's a lot of new development, but there's a lot of concern. What are your concerns about Austin Brighton? Um, my main concerns about Austin Brighton are rents, um, health care, you know, what we can do about that health care disability, um, environment, you know, the LGBTQ community wanting everyone to feel included. Um, what about the the rents? I mean, I mean, they're, they're they're too high for a lot of people all over the city. Anything in particular you would like to do about that? Because some people are saying we, we need some kind of rent control, maybe at least for part of the population. Yeah, well, I rent, so I know how What would you it like is. to see then? <laughs> I would like to, you know, see a, maybe a rent control policy like that covers everybody, you know, that doesn't exclude people. Uh, of course, there's another problem, I think, in this district, e even though it's not that far from downtown Boston. Uh, transportation has been a challenge for many people, whether they bike or walk or take yep. the tea or yep. drive. Uh, anything that you'd like to see to make that better? Well, I take the tea everywhere. I don't drive, so I know how it is with the MBTA and, you know, Uber and Lyft and everything. And I would, yeah, I, I would like to get the MBTA a little bit more aligned with everybody and get them. You also mentioned that you were concerned about uh, people in the LGBTQ community feeling included. Um, I mean, I, I think there's a fair, fairly good atmosphere in most of Austin Brighton about absolutely, that. Absolutely, absolutely. I. I don't put Austin Brighton down in anything that I'm saying, but I just feel that, you know, just like with disability, Boston is very good with that, but I believe that there's more that we can do. Any know? ideas about what you'd like to see? For LGBTQ? Yes. Um, um, more inclusion, you know. I, I know that Austin Brighton is very, very good with that, but I just, if, if any way, if they, if they feel, and if they feel in any way that there's something that they're being excluded from, or if anybody feels that they're not getting a fair shot at, I want them to be able to feel that they can come to me or come to my office and I can help them. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Amanda Smart, candidate Thank you. for Boston City Council in District 9, that's Alston Brighton. We'll have more news in just a moment.